guys, Steve here. In this video, I'm going to show you how and where to get all the resources currently in Grounded. I'm going to start off at the top and work my way down the list. And if this video is helpful for you, I hope you'll like and subscribe, as I've got lots of other helpful Grounded videos to help you out. We're going to start with a pebblet, which is a small pebble you can find everywhere. Just walk up to it, press the action key to pick it up, and you'll collect it. Simple as that. Another one over here. You can also hit a round grey rock with a hammer. And after a few hits, it will break. And give you more pebblets. Next we have plant fibre. This looks like little green leaves on the floor. Press the action button to pick it up. And you also look like little green shoots as well. Plus, if you want to farm a lot of it, you can cut down grass. And that leaves a stem behind. Then cut down the stem. And that leaves you more plant fibre. The sprig looks like a small shoot with two leaves on it. You find these most places as well. Just go up to it and collect it. Spider silk you can get from killing most spiders. The easiest ones to kill when starting off are the little white ones, but are hard to find so it's best to go to a web and start hitting it with a weapon. Don't get too close to it or you get stuck on it, and after a while of hitting it you'll start to get silk. Watch out because the big spiders that made this web might be patrolling around. Next we have sap, you can get this from trees, branches or twigs. There are two main areas, one underneath a big oak tree, you can find it laying on the ground. Or in big clumps where you need a hammer to break it up. Pick up the smaller bits when you've broke it. And that's where we are on the map. And the second place to find it is next to a big fallen branch at the bottom middle of a map. You can get it on the ground or in bigger sap clumps like this again. Pollen you can get from roses. This is where we are on the map in the top right. Just off from the oak tree. I'm under the roses and you find it on little yellow clumps on the ground. Weed stems you get from dandelions and weeds. Dandelions are longer than grass, so you can look up for the fluffy tufty bits on top. Go up to it and start hitting it with your axe. It'll take a few goes. And it'll fall down and turn into weed stems. Pick those up and carry them back to your base for building. Weeds look like this, with a red stem and green leaves. For this you'll need a tier 2 insect axe to cut it down. Equip it. And go up to a weed and start hitting it. And as you can see, you get a hell of a lot more weed stems. You get a different amount each time. But once you can start farming weeds, it makes it a lot easier. Grass planks you can get by cutting down grass, which is everywhere. You need to cut down the green ones with an axe. And as it falls, it breaks into planks. And you use that to build. Acorn tops, acorn bits and acorn shells can all be got from an acorn. And you find acorns underneath the oak tree. That's where it is on the map. That's what it looks like. So you go up to an acorn, hit it with your hammer. It will split into pieces, collect the top, collect the shell. And there's the acorn bits. You need the acorn shell to make a really good set of armour. Which I'll do a video on. Click those. 
and you can eat the acorn bits. You can get ant parts and ant head by killing the smaller worker ants. The mandibles by killing the bigger soldiers. You'd get acid glands as well, but you only can get ant eggs from an ant hill nest. This is what the ant hill looks like. It's in the desert area. That's where it is on the map, next to the research centre. And eggs will only spawn in the ant hill if you've killed enough ants on the outside. So I've got to lay more to replenish the numbers. Flower petals can be found in the rose bushes next to the oak tree. Under the tree you've got red roses one side. This is where we are on the map. Just go up to the petals and pick them up. And on the other side of a tree, you've got violet roses. Clay you can get by the marshy swamp area. In the bottom right. Looks like these brown stones. You'll need a shovel to harvest it. Just keep hitting it with it. Then collect with clay chunks when you've broken it up. Quartzite you can find in underground tunnels. It looks like this and you need a hammer to harvest it. Just hit it a few times. It'll break into smaller chunks. And pick the quartz up. There's a few ways to farm dry grass chunks. The first is to find dry grass just laying around and go up to it with an axe to harvest it. Then pick up the bits. You can also put normal grass on a drive, but there's no point in doing that. Or if you want to farm a lot of it, you can go in a dry area in the top left. Here you'll find dried out grass. Again, cut it down with an X. And instead of grass planks, it drops dry grass. Once you've cut the main grass blades down, you can also cut up the stumps, and that'll give you an extra dry grass chunks. For thistle needles, you'll need to find a thistle. So look out for the purple flowers with spiky leaves. Hit the leaf with any X, and it'll start harvesting needles. The leaves won't break so you can farm as much as you want. To get dandelion tufts, all you need to do is cut down a dandelion. We've got many tufts on the top. They're easy to find because they're taller than grass. Chop down the stem. Of course you'll get weed stems out of this as well. And at the end of a dandelion where it falls, you'll find tufts. And you can use these as gliders. For mite first, you need to kill the little red mites. You usually find these around sap. A good place to farm it is next to this big branch. Simply go along the branch. You usually come here to collect sap. The music will start and they'll come towards you. Kill it. Pick it up and you've got mite fuzz. There's one on top, coming down. There we go. Just go along the branch, both sides, and you'll get lots of fuzz. You get gnat fuzz from killing little flies. But gnats normally fly around stagnant water. If you're near them, they'll come up to you and start pestering you. So just get your weapon out and kill them. Then when you pick up the body, you'll get a nap fuzz. Clover leaves you'll find just about everywhere. Just go up to them with an axe, start cutting them down, and collect the leaves when you've done. Stink bug gas sack and stink bug parts are all collected from a stink bug when you kill it. 
check my channel out because I'm going to do a guide on how to kill all the bugs and spiders. Ladybug parts and ladybug heads surprisingly come from ladybugs. Sometimes you get its head, sometimes you don't. Luckily on that occasion, I did. Weevil noses you get from killing weevils. The little bugs that look like baby elephants. Grub hide and grub goop you get from grubs burying underground. I thought they were worms the first time I saw them. You need a shovel to dig them up. Just go up to it and click on it. Then the grub pops out above ground. Then you whack it to kill it. And click on it to collect its resources. You can find the grubs mostly in soil areas. The boiling gland and bombardier parts you get from killing bombardier beetles. These are a bit tricky when it spits acid at you, so make sure you stay out of the way of that. Berry chunks you get from blueberries in a hedgerow. This is where you find them on the map. Walk into the hedgerow. The berries are above. It takes two arrows to shoot them down. Or if you're standing right next to one, one hit of a weapon. When it falls to the ground, hit it with an axe and you'll form a berry chunk. For spider venom, and spider chunks. You need to kill a large spider and I would go for orb weavers because they're easier. You also get web from them. Just got chunks from that one. And I got venom and chunks from that one. The only way to get a spider fang is to kill a wolf spider. You also can get spider venom, spider chunks and webs. For slime mould stalks you need to go underground. You find them in most tunnels and are a source of light. Just go up to it and collect it. For larvae spikes you need to kill a larva. These usually travel in packs so watch yourself. To get fungal growth, you need to kill insects inside a poisonous pesticide area. You'll find that next to the rake, and here it is on the map. Don't forget to wear your gas mask. You can get fungal growth by killing green infested mice, and also infested weevils, but watch out because they explode. You can find mushrooms scattered all over the place. You pick up the small white ones next to the big ones. When you're looking for nectar, you can look underneath the roses. You find these next to the big oak tree, and the little orange blobs on the floor. Anthid honeydew is dropped by anthids, but it's pretty rare so pick it up when you can. Hot dog bits you can get from fixed spawn points around the map, but you need a tier 2 insect axe to harvest it. The food can spawn in as a hot dog or an apple, and of course you get apple bits from the apple. Again you'll need a tier 2 axe to harvest them. And this is the location next to a big log. Then we have a mint chunks to make one of the best mallets in game. To get the mint chunks, you need to go to the mint box. It's next to the laser platform. That's where it is on the map. And then go to the side. Hit the opening with a hammer to open it up. Now you need a tier 2 mallet to break the chunks off. 
try not to hit the box. There we go. Collect this mint. Now crouch down and work your way inside. I don't think this resource spawns back. So be very careful you don't lose your mallet once you build it. Now if you want any kind of jerky, all you have to do is place the meat on a drying rack. And after a while it will turn into jerky. At the time of shooting this, the water flea isn't in game yet. But it's probably going to be in the pond or in the swamp area. So you'll be able to get the flea chunks there. The bee's not in the game at a time of recording either, so you can't get the bee stinger or bee fuzz. And they'll probably add honey as well. So you're going to have to make do with these stuffed ones and me doing bee impressions for now. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe if you've not already. And click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. There's links to other videos at the end. Comment on what you would like to see. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.